Hey, what's up, guys? It's David Benavides, and you're watching Puget Delicious Company. Thank you. Keith, you ready for your three pieces? For a million? He's a real example. He's a real example. Give me your mouth, too. For a million. There you go. There you go. You probably fall out like Rick Flair. From the home of the three piece combos, Pugilism Company. This is Reed BBS. BBS. Black Burp Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. Best fighter in the world, pound for pound, is Saul Ganelo Alvarez. Accomplishments and resume hold this truth to be self evident. With that said, there's another self evident truth, however. Canelo Alvarez is ducking El Bandera Roja, David Benavidez. Canelo Alvarez is ducking David Benavidez. Ducking, bobbing, weaving. Canelo is doing everything he can to not face David Benavidez. And the WBC is helping him. The WBC is complicit. Abney Yildirim, uh, three losses, two by KO. Both in the third round. Former Canelo Alvarez sparring partner. And on cue, this motherfucker tried to glove touch Canelo as soon as the fight started. Thankfully, Canelo didn't oblige. Ultimately, Yildirim was who we thought he was. He was who we thought he was. Same motherfucker Eubank Jr. stopped. Same motherfucker who couldn't beat an aging Anthony Durrell, who, by the way, if anyone cares, had a draw last night with Kyron Davis. Canelo two-pieced him nice. Canelo gets motherfuckers out of there. You can't ever front on his KOs of people. He two-pieced him nice. One-two split Yildirim's guard, dropped him. And then Yildirim basically quit on his stool. Uh, trainer Joel Diaz kept asking, you okay, Abney? You okay, Abney? He wouldn't respond. He wouldn't respond. It wasn't that, oh, I'm so hurt, beat up. I can't respond. I, I, I'm not hearing your commands. He was tacitly saying, I don't want any more. So he took the 2.5 million he made and he ran. That was that. Which brings me to my point though. Somehow this motherfucker was the WBC mandatory. Even though David Benavidez is ranked higher by the WBC. Let me say that again. Abney Yildirim was somehow the WBC mandatory even though, even though David Benavidez is ranked higher by the WBC. This was the case before the fight last night. It's obviously the case after the fight. The WBC is blatantly helping Canelo duck David Benavidez. How in the hell is the lower ranked guy the mandatory? Can someone answer that for me? There's blame to go around. Benavidez, uh, two-time WBC champion, stripped twice. First time for, uh, I believe he failed a drug test with, uh, not marijuana, but with cocaine in his system. Second time he lost his belt on the scales. Again, that's your own fault. That's your own damn fault, bruh. Yeah, they're fucking you, but you pulled your own pants down and gave them the Vaseline, basically. But three wrongs, three wrongs don't make a right. Him losing his title twice, and now y'all are compounding it by freezing the motherfucker out. As soon as he lost the title on the scales, Benavidez and Yildirim were penciled in the number one and number two contenders to vie for the vacant WBC title. Then out of nowhere, then out of nowhere, Canelo Alvarez and Callum Smith are fighting for that vacant title. Benavidez should have rightfully been the mandatory, but the WBC is enabling Canelo to freeze him out. Once that title got vacant, Canelo pounced on the title so he wouldn't have to fight Benavidez. That's what's going on here. And I can't blame him. I mean, Benavidez got five, six inches on him in height, six or seven inches in reach. So yeah, he got that belt. Benavidez is out of the way. So now he's gonna fight uh, Billy Joe Saunders in May. And then he's gonna fight Caleb Plant in September. So it'll be 2022 at the earliest before Canelo faces the best super middleweight in the world. The one true threat to him at 168 pounds. And that's David Benavidez. From the home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. Read BBS, BBS. Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television. Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.
Two, one. Yeah.